Hey you guys and welcome to today's vlog. I have Easton over here playing in the um, laundry basket and I just cleaned the kids room, um, decluttered for the most part, washing all the sheets and probably just gonna put those up because we are gonna start packing. So in this vlog, I'm hoping that we will do some packing. I think we will. I feel like I've said that in a couple of my vlogs and we haven't. Um, we are gotta start packing, like we move god knows when i don't know when we move we move we have to be out of this house by the 28th so we'll see hopefully we move before then um but i just feel like we have so much to do and i want to motivate you in case you're moving soon or just give you some entertainment as far as the moving department and also feel like i have a good amount of stuff off my plate my husband will have off like for a good chunk of time so he can actually help me pack so that's amazing um but with a little one running around doing a little at a time is definitely a need so we got all the laundry done today i just finished putting it all away and it's friday so the kids are gonna be out of school here soon i'm about to go pick them up but i figured i would pick up the camera because this weekend i plan on packing some things so i figured i would share that with you guys um easton let me show you him he's crazy Say hi. I'm a wild man. Yeah, you're wild. Here, here's your hat. Oh, so cute. So cute. He's dancing now too. Let's see if I can get him to dance for you guys. Dance, dance, dance. He always just wants to grab the camera. He's obsessed, obsessed. Are you going to be a little YouTuber one day? You want to dance? Uh, dance, dance, uh, dance, dance. Uh, he wants to get I want to share with you guys today's sponsor. So Mom Cozy has sponsored today's vlog. We love Mom Cozy. I use their baby monitor, hip seat, their breast pump, all the things. Um, but today I'm going to share something really exciting. So they have a baby carrier and look how cute this print is. It's seriously adorable. They have other prints as well. Um, but they sent over this one and I wanted to share it with you guys and kind of give you guys a comparison. If you are like, what should I get? My baby is maybe just turned 12 months old how should i carry my baby um because sometimes like we're going to the pumpkin patch is a stroller really something that i should bring i don't know um so the options here are we have the mom cozy baby carrier which i'm going to show you guys how i put it on and with easton in it and everything and he just turned 12 months and then we also have the mom cozy hip seat which i absolutely love i use this on the daily every single day um when i take my big kids up to school i put this on i can put my keys and my phone in here and it's super adjustable so for this i just put this around my waist and it's so easy to do like super quick when i'm gonna go bring them into school and pick them up and it has a buckle here the buckle here and you can adjust it to your size and then it has a pocket in the front or on the side you get this fits my phone i have the 14 pro max and it fits no problem there's even some room so it zips up and then it has a little pouch here which sometimes i put my cards in there so you zip that baby up and then you just i'm gonna go get easton in a minute but i wanted to like share all the things with you before he comes in here and is a wild man but um so basically it has this seat right here and it's very comfortable he can sit on it and basically it gives me support on my back and i'm not feeling like like i have to like push out my hip or anything this just gives him full support he can put his legs here i can face him out i can face him in i can even put it this way and nurse him which is definitely one of my favorite things to do when we're out and about um and not feeling like oh i can't do anything um so i love this hip seat this is great for up to i want to say you can use this up to age three um maybe even like it just really depends on your baby and how heavy they are um but i love how much room is in here and i can seriously pack a diaper a white like there's wipes right now Let's wipe container 
would you even know that was in there probably not um it's just like so much storage so i love this and i feel like this is great if you have a baby um i feel i started using this when easton was like i want to say seven months seven months till still now and i don't see us stopping anytime soon um so i love this especially if your baby just woke up from a nap and you got to run into target and like it's out and about kind of stuff and your baby's awake but if your baby is the same age as easton or younger mom cozy baby carrier is probably the one for you if easton is like about to take a nap and we're about to leave the house I will let him sleep in the car obviously and then i will put him in this carrier and so that way he can nap on me we can nurse in it as well you can use this anywhere from three months all the way up to 24 months seven pounds to 44 pounds so you can really use this for a very long time it's very comfortable it's 100 percent cotton so you can wash it really easily so i'm gonna put easton in here and show it to you guys but honestly for me and my life i would use this if easton's about to nap when we're out and about and um he needs to nap you know and i actually just transitioned him to a big boy car seat so there's no more carrier and so napping in the stroller is unlikely especially when i'm transferring him so napping in this being close to me um is probably the best bet <gasps> so 12 months old 17 pounds what do you think east you a fan not a fan Very comfy. Very comfy. Very comfy in there. Gypsy. Love it, love it. Comfy, easy to do things. Hold hands with other people. Okay. And we can put you out. And then we can also lay you down to nurse like this. So anyway, those are the Mom Cozy products, the baby carrier, and then the hip seat. I will have everything linked down below. Thank you, Mom Cozy, for sponsoring this portion of today's video. Now let's get back into it. Having chicken noodle soup for din tonight? Whoa, what's that in there? Fancy. Got thyme, parsley, a pepper. And Is it gonna be spicy? No. It just adds like a little light flavor of maybe just a little bit of heat. Wow. Really cherry, You're salt, so pepper, fancy. Lighter. Chicken stock broth and egg noodles. chicken soup and then I gotta take part that um oh yeah and the rotisserie chicken now. Ooh, I wanna have a little piece I'm hungry here is the final result Okay, so what you guys need to do first is I'm gonna give you cookies in here and then you're gonna need to smash them to mithery. I, I watched some with it and I. Alright, don't poke holes through the bag. This is a hundred hit. Stick your wormies in. Two-headed worms. They're very dirty, yucky. Mm -hmm. Dirt worms. Okay. Mm.
Hi there guys. I don't know where I left off in this vlog so far. Um, I wanted to show you guys me packing, but that's probably gonna come in the next vlog because life just got a little crazy. Uh, let me tell you the short version. Ethan's sick, he doesn't feel good, so bear with me through this. Um, but let me get him a snack actually, hold on. So I've been loving these from Serenity Kids. Um, Basically, we called housing and we were informed that the housing that we were looking for because we're trying to live on the base um, is a eight to 12 week waiting list. So uh, yeah, that's gonna go all the way into, and it doesn't start, the catcher here is, it doesn't start until the 31st um, of October. So that would put us in middle of January or February on the larger end. February. Um, so we would be homeless for um, two to two to two and a half months. So uh, we would have to be living in a hotel for that long. So, or look for something off the base. My thing here is I really want the kids to go to school on the base or I want them to go to a good school. A lot of the schools in Columbus, I'm not a fan of, to be honest. Um, so we looked in Alabama cause Alabama's right on the border there. And so we looked for some rentals there. It's just like not a lot. And we just had our hopes set on living on the base um, for cost efficiency and also for the schools. So, um, yeah, and we're just like not in the place right now to buy, to be honest. Um, we haven't saved or planned to buy. So, uh, we called housing and changed our housing selection for a different house, actually the house we used to live in. And that wait list is six to eight weeks. So, shorter. You okay? shorter than the original so um the house that we were supposed to get was bigger um and something that we were really looking forward to but unfortunately that's not gonna happen so we are gonna go live at the house like to the neighborhood that we used to live in which it's fine it has four bedrooms it's one level floor plan i'm excited about it it's a house okay at this point it's a house um so in the meantime we actually Thank you to my mom. She helped do some research. And instead of living in a hotel, because we still will have like um, a window here where we don't have a home because we're leaving here in December, um, we've decided. And then my husband actually has to be at work early December. So um, yeah, so it's just like a lot hangs in the balance here. And we would like would be without a home for at least, um, if we wait out most of it here, we would be without a home for about uh, 13 days or so on the on the larger end. So um, we found a place that is actually on Fort Benning and basically it's like kind of like an apartment, but um, they rent it out and it's supposed to be cool. Like it seems renovated, it seems nice, um, pet friendly, and we're gonna stay there um, as long as we can. And then I'm gonna get a note from housing letting them know that we are going to be living in the neighborhood um, soon, one of the neighborhoods, and um, then that way the kids can go to the school on the base because um, when you don't have a house, you kind of need to prove that you're gonna live on the base. So uh, for school-wise, that's the plan. So we'll be here till December. We're gonna have Thanksgiving here, but the last 24 hours were a little hectic and very like scary because we had no idea what we were doing with our life. And it was very like it's very like i don't know it's hard as a family of five and a dog like you can't just like stay in a hotel room for two months like that's kind of hard <laughs> we need like a full kitchen and areas for our kids to sleep and like i mean it's doable people have done it but just for our mental sake <laughs> like it just wasn't going to be it so i'm so thankful everything is falling into place and i'm going to share like all about it because if you're going to fort benning or fort moore actually is the new name um i would love to share this with you when we get there and like all the details so stay tuned and i'll keep you posted it's supposed to be really nice and all the things um but this month coming up we'll be doing a ton of packing so if that's what you were looking for in this video i'm gonna do some as i can but um 
the majority of content from here on out will be packing because john will be off and we will start to pack our home so anyway it's just been chaotic and stressful and easton actually has cold so it's just been a lot going on right now so that's the update that's the tea that's the latest um very stressful but things are seeming to fit into place but this is just the real deal military life if you do if i do say so myself Easton's trying to escape now, so I'm gonna go change his diaper and then we gotta go get the big kids. Another morning, another unfinished clip of my life. Um, I am just getting home from the kids' drop off. Um, today is my last day without John being home, so from here on out, you'll probably see John in a lot of my vlogs um, because he actually is getting 40 days of leave for our move. So we'll be packing and so much. So anyway, I have so much laundry to do and I figured I would film things that I've been avoiding doing and just kind of show you um, what I've been avoiding doing. Basically it's laundry. I mean, who wasn't avoiding laundry? And um, I don't know. I just feel like I want to, I'm just like drowning. I feel like, I feel like I'm trying to just like clean the house for the most part. So that way when packing starts, it's just like we're on a clean slate, but I don't think that's going to happen for me because I just feel like things keep piling on. So bear with me. Um, I'm not sure what the end of this vlog will consist of, but I hope you enjoy it and you stay motivated because <laughs> I need motivation too. So you motivate me, I'll motivate you, put me on your TV and uh, let's do some tasks that we didn't want to do together. <laughs> take a break from the laundry and whatever else I was gonna do in this vlog and just take a round of applause for my husband he went to go grab me some chick-fil-a because um, he just got back from top golf today was his last day at work which is kind of bittersweet like as a recruiter like it's his last time being a recruiter that he'll never be a recruiter again so I'm gonna turn um, you guys around and show you all these crazy awards he has more at the office still but like he got all these today which is wild so let me show you guys because i'm so proud of him and these are so unique and so sweet i've never seen a company like do go so above and beyond um for like someone leaving okay this is the first thing basically i guess he can like hang his like kit or i don't really know army life no idea um sweet little like no they put in here this is like a lock box um and then Northfield is like the um, the recruiting station. And then they got him this award, this award, this one, super cool. Um, I don't know what these are, but very cool. And then we got this one. And then this one is my favorite and makes me laugh so hard because John literally hated doing text messages and social media and he was the phone call guy. He like literally makes so many phone calls. So they like hand made this, um, the station commander, I believe. And how freaking funny and cute is that? So, so creative. It's like wood and then this is like a picture frame and then he like glued this phone to it and then put that in there. It's like a piece of wood, so so funny and cute so
such a bittersweet like thing that he's no longer gonna be a recruiter. I feel like we just like entered this journey and it's already over. Um, and of course going through it, we had our ups and downs and you know, when you're in something like like that's different it, you like feel different emotions and uh, you know there's different people in charge people's like the people that are in charge change and so like you know you have better like bad experiences with certain like station commanders and different things like that so i'm really glad that his last like year here has been so great or at least yeah i believe the last year um he's had some really great leaders and um he's just thrived so i'm so proud of him and i can't believe it's over but I'm excited for our new adventure. Um, what? Easton's here, fussing around. Um, but anyway, I'm gonna close out this vlog. I think you guys seen enough of me today. I hope you guys enjoyed. You have something to say, hold on. Easton has something to say. He wants to talk. What do you guys say? Mm. Say, we will see you guys next time. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video if you liked it. For real this time, packing will be coming in the next vlog. <laughs> or around the next couple vlogs. Um, it's Halloween this weekend, so we'll be doing all the Halloween things. I don't know if I'm gonna vlog, but you'll see what you see, okay? I'll catch you my next one. Leave a comment. I love you guys, and I'll see you guys in my next one.